Make sure you subscribe because anything else would be uncivilized. Why, you ask? Because that's the bottom line. Time to get some breakfast in my life, in my life. See how I kind of softened it up there? Yeah, yeah, it was a good note change. Yeah, I do what I can. All right, got to get some food, got to run some errands, and then we got to talk about some sneakers, some heartbreaking sneakers, you know? No one is immune from heartbreak and heartache. And I'm no different. I'm, I, I'm only one I'm man. I'm only a man. I'm just a man. Tommy Jeans. Young Buckets. My oh, man sent this to me. Oh, yeah, he did. Gang, 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 gang. We gang. have a third in the gang, 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 gang today. Gang, Hang gang, on, gang. Let's... Boom. Uncivilized. Professional model. Yeah. Family things. Family things. Hello again. Oh, sorry. No. Still us. Running some errands. Insert dramatic errand running footage. Bam. I know we've mentioned this before, but as the sneakers behind us disappear, we're actually going to be redoing this whole room. We have our black screen here with our microphone set up and we just, we have our lights. We have a, we have a lot of stuff going on back here, but we're gonna make it a lot cleaner and a lot doper. And we're going to do a video series on that. Let us know if that's something that you want to see and we will definitely bring that to you. Now, today we have, this is an interesting scenario here. Bam, Jordans. This is a Jordan box. Now, it's a smaller Jordan box than normal. Could a size 13 fit in there? Let's, yeah. Yeah? You think so? Let I mean, it depends on what shoe let's, it is. Let's try, but here, let me, I don't want to show the sneaker. No, no not quite. That, that won't go. I wonder if this one will. No, not quite. So a size 13 doesn't quite fit. And therein lies the rub. First and foremost, shouts to the good people over at Kicks R for us for looking out once again. This is a sneaker that I'm crazy about. Drum roll, please. Por favor. Bang, bang. The Jordan one in the burgundy colorway. I don't know, Does this, do these have a special name? I don't even know. Red velvet cake? Uh, I, I mean, so this sneaker here, now I got these for a friend. This is a sneaker that me and you were laughing before we turned the camera on. I'm legit devastated. Everyone, if you watch these videos, you know how I feel about burgundy. You know how I feel about burgundy. Mm -hmm. I've got a love affair with the color burgundy. I love burgundy. I always have loved burgundy. It's my favorite color by far, and I love the Jordan 1, and I love gold accents on a sneaker. I've said that a ton of times, so they've combined all of that. Yeah. A burgundy Jordan 1 with gold hits. This is like, this Air Jordan thing on the side here is like super luxurious. Yeah. Like gold, yeah, pin, gold laces. Gold lace tips. tips. What is that velvet? Let's hear your, your, what is that velvet? What is that velvet? <laughs> that is that velvet. You have the long hair, you have the short hair, best of both worlds. This is heartbreaking. If this, if these were in a size 13, I would have them. For sure. I would have a couple pairs. And then peep the bottoms are kind of like that translucent burgundy or like that translucent maroon. Yeah. This is a beautiful, beautiful sneaker. It's why, why do you do this to me? I feel like the guy from the notebook right now. I wrote you a letter every day for a year. Oh, Gosling? Yeah, 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 Gosling. You say you feel like Gosling? I, I mean, I, I am Gosling. We've already talked about this before. If someone were to play me in a movie, it would have to be Ryan Gosling. I think he's the only guy that could pull off. I think it would have to be Jim Gaffigan. Wow. Are you f***ing kidding me? Although I respect Jim Gaffigan, his Hot Pocket spiel is one of the greatest moments in stand-up comedy. But you call me Jim Gaffigan again, and I will take you out. No, I'm Ryan Gosling. And you are George Murasan. <laughs> you are Nicolo Miritic. Like, I get that a lot. He's yeah. got, like, a big beard. Who else? There's someone else you get all the time. Like, they'll say, I'm reminding them of James Franco. I don't know if that's a... James Franco is one. No, but there's another one, too. Michael Phelps, I get. Michael Phelps! That's the one I was thinking of. Mikey Phelps, how are you? How you doing? I mean, he's the greatest Olympian, apparently, ever, but not into it. What are your thoughts on this sneaker? Would you rock these, or does the long, velvety look a little too girly to you? 
because I would rock the dog out of these. I mean, they're cool. It's not really a sneaker for me, but like, I, like I'm not mad at them. You know what I mean? These are phenomenal. I cannot fit my foot in here. Air Jordan 1 Retro High Premium HCGG. High cool. cholesterol, good game. Wow. They do have a premium feel to them. We got to insert. I, I, I don't even know how I feel right now. I mean, well, I, I do know how I feel. I, I feel like Gosling. You tried to take it from me. I won't let you. It was never over. He's in the rain. He's committed, man. He's dedicated. I have to watch that movie again. I don't know if I've ever seen the movie in its entirety, but um, because <laughs> it was never over. It's either that or we got to go with the other guy. Nah. Oh, wow. Now, would these be better with white laces? The answer is no. Would, Absolutely not. Would they be better with a white swoosh? The answer is no. Would they be better if they were just all burgundied out? The answer, again, is no. So that leads me to the conclusion. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, gold jump man on the heel, that's fire. In conclusion, this sneaker is perfect in every single way except one, and I will tell you what that one reason is. The prosecution would like you to believe something different. They would like to lead you on this wild goose chase down these different paths on a maze of confusion and injustice. I am here to shed light on what really happened on that fateful day. The truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. You're doing too many pop culture things here. Okay. I'm gonna roll. Holy hell. I'm going to roll. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. The one thing that is wrong with this sneaker is it does not come in a men's size 13. I rest my case. Over. What did that? Did the camera move? Yeah, it's shaking all over the place. So, anyways, uh, moral of the story is beautiful sneaker. Not my size, doesn't fit me, and I am a little salty about it. Normally, I don't pay much attention to women's releases, grade school releases. It's kind of like whatever. This time, I got to uh, deal with it, okay? And I will. So, but a beautiful sneaker and a sneaker that I wanted to show because absolutely exquisite. I got nothing else to say. We'll be right back here tomorrow. We actually have a really, really big announcement coming. Something with basketball and a video that I know a lot of you are going to want to see. It's something we are really, really excited about. It is basically our future for, or the foreseeable future. Yeah. And it's something that we've been working towards. It's something that we are really, really excited about. So stay tuned. And that video will be coming very, very soon, along with a lot of other videos. You know, the Almost Daily Vlog, brand new video almost every single day. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. And I don't have anything else to say. F Finn. Buckets. Foamy. We're out of here. It's hot out here. It is hot out here. It's so damn hot. Milk was a bad choice. Why would you ever think that milk on a hot day? I mean, day milk was... is never a good choice, though. Exactly. Even on a cold day. Yeah, milk's not a good choice. Ron Burgundy, we expected more of you.